Tell us a bit about what you made. So this is a turtle bird, it's half turtle, it's half bird. We did turtle bird because I have a pet bird and it's cute and she loves turtles. Uh, this is Owen, flying dog. <laughs> and Amigo and um, where, uh, this is Juno. Which means breakfast and friend. Um, breakfast and friend in Spanish. We made a hippo, um, his name is Hips, we gave him a little collar down there. What was the planning process like? The planning process was, it was supposed to be a little taller and it, it was supposed to have a bigger head. But it ended up just having like a little plump little body, kind of like one of those medium sized dogs. Why don't you show us the inside, because it's pretty yeah. ingenious how you prop it up with the straw there. And then, and then when you want to finish something. Straw. And there's also stuff for you can... For we also took off its head. And you can see in the head what's inside it. We were planning to have just some simple programming like simple servos and motors and a simple simple LEDs and it really is actually really hard just to get them all right and we thought it would be simple. Did you have to make any changes? We didn't have this, this, we didn't have these or any of this. We just would have had this plain alligator with just a bird, lights, and those. We kept adding more and more because we didn't run into big problems. Like we added the platform, that wasn't there. Until that was at the, like the very end. Week. We were going to have a distance sensor, but um, we couldn't, it wasn't working. So we decided to change it to a light sensor instead. Can we see how your robot turned out? I like programming. I like programming.